it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel, Green Tea Design Co. And today we are going to make some jellyfish charms. Isn't this adorable? How cute is that? I've been working on a lot of mermaid under the sea type uh, projects lately. And um, I was watching a video and I saw this lady make these cute. Her name is Cra her channel is crafty so I will have her link down below with the original tutorial and um, they're so cute they're so, they are so cute and um, just really easy to make so again that's what it looks like so we're going to make this and this is what you're gonna need and I just got these from Walmart and these are just in the fishing section they're just little lures they are kind of gooey they have some kind of gel type thing on them that makes them go through the water, I guess. But um, there's 10 of them in a pack, and I believe they cost probably around a dollar, dollar seventy-five or something like that. So, and they come in different colors. I wanted the white ones. The ones she used had um, were solid all the way through this part. Um, these are hollow, and if you could find the solid ones, I would get the solid ones. But um, I didn't I just grabbed these so so what you're gonna do first because it has that gel stuff on it you're gonna take a little bit of just baby powder if you don't have baby powder you can use cornstarch or flour probably and um, just gonna rub these tentacles in here because we want to get that gel off we don't want that gel because we want the, the tentacles to to be flappy like that so I got that and then what we're going to do is right here at the bottom, we're going to cut that off. There we go. So now you can see, you can see, see how that is hollow inside. And um, the ones that she had were solid inside. So if you can find the solid ones, those are easier, easier to use. And you can see here, because it has that big hole in your eye pin. She even with using the um, uh, the sequin like she does, the the sequin still pulled through when I tried that. So what I did is I'm just gonna put a little bit of baby powder on this top part too, because I just want to make sure that gel is all off there. So did that. All right. And then I'm just going to use a bead. So I've got a bead that's not a seed bead. It's just a little bit bigger than a seed bead. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use some of this um, Hypo Cement. It's a bead, beading cement. So, And I'm going to just put that inside... inside that little hole that's in there. Just because I want uh got the volcano thing going on there. Okay. Now I'm gonna take these little tentacles and I'm going to put this right through. So see, it's starting to come through and I don't want to pull it all the way through. So you don't want to pull the bead all the way through because it is stretchy, so it will come through. So you don't want to do that. And then I'm just going to put my bead on top of it and there is some glue on there still. So, and push that down. So. I pulled it right through see you can pull that out so make sure you know you can put some glue that's gonna pull through but you can put some glue let's let's try a little bit of hot glue and see if that whoop, that'll help it a little bit more okay I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue in there too because with that hole in there it's just not wanting to stay and once that that cement takes a little while to dry, to dry, so once that's dry too, it'll it'll hold a little bit better. All right. 
And this one, this one I cut a little bit different. I don't know. Looks good. So, so there's that. Oh, sorry, I'm here my off camera here. So that's what that looks like. And then you got to make your little um, loop here. So I have one of these little loop making tools. So I'm going to use this. Uh, come on. And there we have our little jellyfish. This one I also I I um cleaned it off with some alcohol first, and that might have been why this one worked a little bit better. So I think for this one I might have tried to next time I will try to um clean that off with alcohol before I put it in the baby powder and then put it in the baby powder and um then use the glue. It might stick better because of that gel that's on there. But I think if you're not pulling on them, well, hopefully people won't be pulling on them. There, they'll be okay. Uh, you might. Another thing you could probably do is maybe sew the top of it up with a needle and thread. Just quick, quick, do a little couple stitches in that top so it's closed, and then put the eye pin through. But there's our jellyfish beads. Aren't those cute? I think they just turned out adorable and that's all I have I will see you on the next crafty video